Hey, you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes with the High Vibrations. I don't know what's been going on with my phone and stuff today, y'all, but I'm going to get into these messages. So I got a verse of the day I wanted to read on my phone. It says, Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God. Corinthians 9 1 1. So, you all learn just to give thanks for the things that you have and be thankful. You know, be thankful where you're at. Do not beat yourself up. It is okay to be at home. The home sit up at the wise with. The wise, that's where the wise is, at home, okay? You don't have to be out and doing everything everybody else is doing. Understand that your journey is not the same as everyone else's journey. And it's okay to be different. It's okay to be unique. It's okay to be you. Because you are learning and growing and glowing. You're using your own intuition and own discernment when it comes to situations. And it's okay to grow up, okay? So we got April 3rd. I'm reading out of my um, pocket Bible. Striving for godly discernment. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may understand your statuses. Palms with well, Psalms. I'm sorry, y'all. 119, 125. Oh, Lord, listen to my cry. Give me the discerning mind you promised. Psalms 119, 169. These pro proverbs will give insight to the simple knowledge and discernment to the young. Proverbs 1, 4. If you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Proverbs 2, 3, 5. Wisdom is found on the lips of the discerning, but a rod is for the back of the one who has no sense. Proverbs 10, 13. Let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance. Proverbs 1, 5. It is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment so that you may approve what is excellent and so be pure and blameless for the day of Christ filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Philippines 1, 9, 10. To live with discernment is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. There is an increase in knowledge everywhere, but people's discernment has decreased. Discernment is to see God's plan in time by having a personal relationship with him. In sensitivity for the Holy Spirit, prayer plays an important role in this listening process where you have to weigh and see everything to distinguish what is really from God and what is really not. Thank you for the confirmation, God. What I tell y'all, real confirmations come from God, from, from God himself. You will not get them. You will get guidance from readers. You will get, you know, guidance on the, that, what, what they think. You know, you have to learn that as you grow you get older you have an intuition of your own and we would go through these things called cycles of life and either you can keep repeating the same karmic cycle or you can break that cycle and just step out into the, your real divine self you know so you have to learn to use your own discernment when it comes to situations so that you're able to you know make wise choices and decisions for yourself because you are growing and you have to stay focus like if you have been sorting people out and and growing away from people know that you are not alone and you know it's a lot of us out here that are growing and we are sitting at home with the wise you know you rather pick up a book than pick up a drink and that's okay okay because we have to learn that we have as we get older we have to take care of ourselves man body and soul people are not going to do that shit for us we can't expect motherfuckers to take care of us because people is not going to give a fuck about us so we have to learn to take care of ourselves and just you know let god let go and let god because we can't just hold on to things that we can't control we have to heal from shit we really have to grow and that's what we are learning that a lot of motherfuckers are stuck and that we have to keep it going we have to keep it going we have to keep keep on putting one foot in front of the other because people's not gonna do it for us so you got the two of cups so somebody's in a love situation that's just, I'm hearing uh, a song, Can You Stand the Rain? Yeah, Justice. So 
So somebody's going to receive justice. I'm hearing this is this is a a good cycle. Meaning this is yeah, this is what you manifested. This could be a love situation that has not been so good, but it's getting better. You've been holding on. I'm hearing a lot of rainy days. A lot of rainy days. But this person's in love with you and you in love with this person. This person's watching you work on yourself. Yeah, holding things close to you, full of pinnacles, watching you grow, go in harmony mode, balance out your life, using your intuition, not arguing, not being in this argumental energy with these people. Yeah, six of pinnacles, working on your money. That's. Yeah, working on your money. This emperor, he could be working on his money to come towards you. Yeah, to come towards you or if he hasn't already. Towel in the reverse. Somebody wants to work on something. Something that they was indecisive in the past. Yeah, and bring balance. Page of Pentacles, oh, this could be you. Just balancing out everything and holding things close to you. Yeah, judgment, ace of cups, and showing yourself love, giving yourself more love, pouring more into you. Yeah, healing yourself, temperance. Healing yourself from these people just running in and out. Knight of Swords. Because you're completing the cycle. You're completing the cycle. Yeah, because you're receiving your blessings. Feel like somebody's watching this. It's tower moment. Yeah, for you. Watching you in this Queen of Wands energy. Just joyful. Rejoicing and being happy. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes from within. You Can't nobody steal nothing that's already God already has for you. So that's what I'm hearing. Protect your energy. If you want to rejoice and be happy, you can rejoice and be happy. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Use use your intuition. You are growing. Ten of Wands at the bottom. You walking away from shit that don't serve you. Ten of Wands and the Two of Wands. Focus on your future. Use your intuition when it comes to situations. Use your own discernment when it comes to situations. Don't sit around and wait on nobody to change. You have to learn that you have to keep going. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Spirit said that's the damn truth. Ten of Swords at the bottom, walk away. Don't sit around and wait on no motherfucker. Even if they are going through a rebirth, because this is not this is not for you. They have to deal with their own karma. That's what I'm hearing. You have to walk away. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Eight of Wands in reverse. So this person could want to communicate with you, but you might have them blocked. You might have them blocked because they've been... I'm just hearing throwing your energy off. It's like you be over here minding your business and your Queen of Pentacles energy. And then this person wants to try to come in with communication that can try to make you feel, I don't know, Page of Wands energy like the things that you want out of life or something maybe won't happen. Spirit is saying, protect your energy from this person and use your intuition, Empress, because you know this person wants to come in on this Seven of Swords shit, trying to manifest you back in. Yeah, this Empress. This Emperor, because he's stuck, and he's watching you walk away from this shit. Use your intuition and be happy. Queen of Swords. Yeah, and Ace of Cups. Pouring in your own cup. Loving yourself. It's making this person emotional. Some person might be trying to come to you. Uh, emotional manipulation. I, I'm just hearing like. Yeah, because this person's watching you level up. So this person could be like. Trying to come to you in a manipulating way. Emotionally though. Like. Oh, like say things to make you feel bad. Almost. But you're healing and growing. That's what 
Spirit is saying you need to learn to use your own discernment. Yeah, Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords fell right down on top of the Ace of Swords. So that's the damn truth. You using your own discernment. You balancing out your life. And motherfuckers don't like it. Yeah, five of wands at the bottom of that. Motherfuckers don't like you. You use the strength cord behind the five of wands, y'all. Motherfuckers don't like that you. <laughs> motherfuckers don't like that you using strength. You you using your strength, you know, when it comes to this shit. And you holding back and you balancing out your fucking life and using your intuition when it comes to these motherfuckers that won't come in and try to cause chaos and give you these weak ass love offers trying to keep you in your head about some shit and spirit is just trying to protect you and show you to continue to show love to yourself continue to heal yourself continue to nurture yourself take care of yourself and yeah because this person has seven of cups and then knight of swords at the bottom of the deck yeah, but Spirit said the wheel at the bottom under the Knight of Swords, y'all. The wheel, you completed a cycle with a motherfucker, okay? That's why the Two of Cups, that's why Justice here after the Two of Cups, because you, you got your justice. Your justice is that you happy, you can do a shit on your own, you know. This towel moment. They thought it was going to be a towel moment for you, and it was, and it was a good towel moment. I'm hearing, like, you woke me up. You woke me up. So, once you woke, you can't go to sleep, y'all. Okay? So, it's motherfuckers just sitting there looking at, like, what can they do to try to manipulate you back? And it's just not working. You just, you woke. Yeah. King of Pentacles, he's really trying to think of a plan, the fool, to take his new leap with you. But you not, yeah, you not. I don't think you're going to accept this offer because you released this and you completed a cycle with this person. You completed a cycle with this person and this shit's over. Yeah, this shit's over, the emperor. He, y'all, the empress at the bottom cannot make this up. Smoke, he feels like you're the perfect match. That's why Two of Cups is here. But... You already received justice to the situation. You already gained clarity because you already opened up your th third eye. So I'm hearing you already Ray Charles to the bullshit, okay? Ray Charles to the bullshit. Motherfucker already know what's going on, honey. You can't keep on coming in like this thinking you're going to have it your way. No, you're not going to keep coming in to this empress. Thinking you're going to have it your way. It's not happening. And that's just what I'm hearing. <laughs> Four swords in reverse. Yeah, it's part of trying to have you in your head about his connection. But you, <laughs> you using your intuition. Yeah, and manifesting the magician. Yeah, empress. The bottom of the deck. You're manifesting new beginnings for yourself. You ain't worried about that shit. This person's confused. <laughs> yeah, it's my mom in the background. This person is confused. The moon fell right over Ace of Swords. I don't know why I'm getting spell work. I don't know, y'all. Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles. King of Swords. So yeah, this person just could have thought you was something else at first. Like they could have maybe made you feel like not worthy, but I'm hearing now they understand your worth. But you already opened up a third eye and it's too late because you understand this motherfucker was just projecting insecurities on you, trying to make you feel less than, but justice has been served. You know you the shit. You know you the empress. You know what the fuck really makes you happy. You leveling up and you not worried about this shit. Mm. 
anything else. Yeah, six of wands. Yeah, eight of cups. You walking away. You walking away because you went through a rebirth. You went through awakening. And you're woke. A lot of things are coming your way. A lot of good things is coming your way from being patient and dealing with this energy. And I'm hearing no reaction is the best reaction, meaning you're going to receive everything that you want because you didn't react the way this person was trying to get you to react. Yeah, the Empress, you reacted. By not giving a reaction. That was your reaction. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> so it makes motherfuckers scared. Because they can't keep coming in in this energy. And this Seven of Swords energy. Sneaky, lying, cheating, conniving, manipulated. Juggling. Anything else? Yeah, eight of cups. Walking away, you know your worth. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. You know your worth. Focusing on your future. Celebrating. Yeah, celebrating. So the queen of swords fell out on this eight of cups. With the four of cups and this ten of pentacles. I feel like... 